Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. This is the Against the Hive campaign. My name is Saiken and today we're trying to get the aliens away from planet Earth once again. Operation Operation Crystal Shadow is uh, on the table. It has been a while since I was playing so I just need to catch up with all of the things that were happening. We got a new plot type here, Shanty, which I think is uh, the city-ish uh, plot type. And we're bringing the main team, Taurus, Lyrical, uh, which are hopefully going to upgrade further because we need that sixth spot. Either of them needs the promotion. Zukuger with his uh, signature heavy cannon and uh, the tracer rounds, which have worked actually quite well. We bring uh, Old Bastard uh, with us, who is going to help us with the Balpap and a couple of hacking options. I'm torn between that, by the way. Uh, maybe we could. We're not taking him. Uh, do we have someone else available? Tech specialist, cool. But I think we're going with a marksman. Our other marksmen are all shaken. You know what? Uh, just to... Just to level the tech specialist as well. Let's use Bastard. And Roro finally with our poison grenade. Two normal grenades. Uh, he's really the, uh, the guy who is supposed to remove uh, enemy cover. I will need to get used to the soldier skills once again. Because I've been playing War Tales in and out in the meantime. Clocked a solid 350 hours on that game. It is fan-fabulous-tastic. All right, we landed, and that biome doesn't look like a city, so I can. That here looks like a big, fat rainforest, or forest rather. Not so much rain. Oh, okay. We're in. Wait, there's a berserker. Oh, but he didn't trigger. All oh, right. Well, let's place a defensive mine right here for good measure. And let's reduce the forest a little bit. Nice. We shredded the mech. Very good. Okay, cool. We're coming in with Zukuger. Chances to hit. Lyrico comes in and yeah, let's just take that shot because I don't uh, I want to charge in too far is what I wanted to say. Bastard moves up. What's our chance with Haywire Protocol? Can we suppress it? Even take it over? Seventy percent chance. Hmm. Don't like the odds. The enemies are becoming stronger and stronger now. It's really up to us to deal with that increase of uh, hit points and just potential to ruin our day, really. Starting to work with a Mac. Okay, well. We will overcome. Time to get the Mac down. Unfortunately, not enough juice left in order to get uh, the okay. Advent Captain. And what are we? Oh no! Wow. Wait, there is another stun lance on top of it. Oh, 
Okay, this is not going to be fun. We're starting to lose ground. Admin officer apparently decides to charge back instead of forward. Interesting choice here. So if we can hit multiples, I would want to do that. I think that's the right uh, play here. We'll hit the Advent Officer as well. Advent Stun Lancer will be hit, and I think we're even hitting the Berserker if I'm not completely mistaken. At least two of them are hit. Uh, luckily, the poison grenades are also shredding, so that's good. What I like about the rework is we can uh, we can now uh, haywire as a standard normal action and not as a turn ending full round action um 35 is not looking good but the shutdown is looking sweet do we want to go down that route or are we going fail safe into oh yeah or we're going all the way fail safe into trying to take it over because that would be a huge win for us. Having a quasi mimic beacon in front, 50 50 ish, and not happening. Well, at least there is not going to be any supercharging because we had failsafe. We're continuing to lay down some fire and I could overwatch which I'm very likely going to do in the meantime how about we're moving over here <laughs> we can't see the mech that's funny Well, we could go into full cover here. Try to work with the trooper. Could go over here, but then that would be line of sight blocking through this tree. The forest is actually a bit more challenging than I would have anticipated. We could certainly like uh, go all Rambo and charge in, but I don't want to do that. Trying to go for the flanks, really. Still up. Unfortunately, un uh, unsuccessful. We have a pretty uh, difficult uh, position where they are well defended. What we could do is we could just say, you know, effort and both of both of the advents are taking a flashbang. I think that's a reasonable approach. Not seeing us use it uh, anytime soon. And we're just overwatching. With that poison and flashbang, the stun lancer is relegated. Can't really do much. Berserker charges in, takes the heat. And micro missiles, right? Yep. We got an Advent Officer over here, who's potentially going to rejoin the fight. In the meantime, and they are killing our civilians. Yeah, our crowd control was okay, but we haven't really gotten through them yet. 
bit of armor regeneration, which is good. Bastard moves up, and I think blinding protocol uh, for the Berserker is the right call, but before we're going for that, I want to make sure that we're healing up. Don't want anyone in, in one shot territory. Stupid Advent Mac needs to die. So does the Stun Lancer. The main challenge here is to get into a position where we can get the Stun Lancer. It's far enough to not trigger the other pack. So Roro will take care of the Stun Lancer. Comet Protocol is the solution for the Mac. But that also means this guy will run free. In the meantime, move up, hopefully into a flanking position. Not acquired. But I do have an idea of how we can get there. Very nice. Could move to here. Mm, not sure that might be a faceless one if it unco uh, if it unturns now. It'll get to act. Uh, if we're just staying where we are, it won't be able to act, which is fantastic. Needing to reload. 6% shot for the Berserker. Not really what we were looking for. Suppression would reduce its movement, right? Imposing a 50% uh, penalty, yep. And we get an overwatch. Okay, let's suppress the Berserker. Takes damage, runs through the mine. And uh, very much... One shot, uh, bravo! Ah, berserkers. You don't want to mess with them. Once they are really, really angry, better have an idea of how to deal with them. No. Good damage. Well, that's what we wanted to see. I will move slightly back with Roro, mainly to get the weapon proximity bonus. Alright, reviving. We need you, Zuhuger. Ooh, nice. We revived and it also applied uh, a charge of a mad kit. Zuhuger is back in action, guys. Fantastic. I like it. So, moving over here. And I think we're just reloading for now. Bastard is supporting the other flank. I don't want to trigger any other alien activity. We know there's at least one more pack. And we got very much our hands full with the packs that we have had so far. Specifically the last one was a nasty, nasty pack. Okay, careful moving forward. Um... 
I would argue we want to still heal Zukuger to get to that seven hit point threshold. Get him off of one shot. And moving in. I need to play some really solid XCOM now because this year just started to become more and more difficult. Reloading, overwatching, and reloading. Oh, another berserker. That's not good. Okay, moving up. We know there is another pack very, very close to our position. Quintuple pack. That's a nasty bugger pack. Disorienting two of them for good measures. Unfortunately, the frag grenade is not reaching far enough to also hit them. That's a bit of a bummer. But we can AOE suppress. That'll give us two overwatch shots and they get the penalty. But I think it's fair to use the grenade here. Removes a lot of cover, shreds the mag. If possible, I don't want to even deal with that mech. Adrenaline Rush allows us only to charge in order to heal, so a normal run and gun would not be allowed. This here definitely screams micro-missiles. Yeah, we're hmm, carefully moving in. Uh, I was about to say carefully moving in, but there is no great position where we wouldn't open another micro-missile. So gotta take the sort of back line here not perfect for Taurus we could move back but that would micro be even a more efficient micro missile so we're frontlining with 12 hit points ouch Advent Assaults, uh, those are stun lancers with shotguns, because normal stun lancers aren't annoying enough. Ouch. Well. Moving up. Get rid of the purifier. And should I try again to just take them over? I could try to just normally take them over and if it doesn't work, we are simply going to deal damage. Okay, this gives us finally a little bit more 
breathing room. Yeah, we could try to heal them. Roro moves up, hunkers down. Because we need to get rid of uh, the stupid burning. No more mad kids available, so Zukuger is in danger of dying. We're keeping him a bit more in the back line, hunkering down. Taurus moves up. Frontline duty from now on. And I would say we're just reloading. Two sectors and a couple of nasty other aliens. Moving up. Removing cover. We're going for full cover here. Not a great chance of hitting him. But we are successful nonetheless. Very good. Okay, frontline moves in. So Cougar indeed takes the back line. Um, Taurus moves in and Bastard nah that's too dangerous I don't want to trigger anything it just single moves to here Roro overwatches and Zukuga reloads because we need him very soon for that extra overwatch Well, congratulations. We've pushed in really, really far now. Uh, how about taking some half cover over here, which is not great, but it's better than not being able to shoot. Moving out of range so that we're not immediately micro-missiled. Enemy mech takes some very solid damage with our protocol. Uh, there's a chance of killing this guy. I like the sectored soldier. Well, I don't really like them, but I would like to get close to him and kill him. Not a problem. Roru moves up. Let's try to hit and kill that guy. Alright, the focus fire worked out very well. So Cougar overwatches. Just need a good flanking position, but those sectored soldiers are not to be toyed with. They're actually quite uh, potent, are not vulnerable to melee attacks. 
and have decent hit and uh, crit chance so they could take this out but luckily for us they are focusing on our mech cool So the distraction worked like a charm. Lyrico is frontlining. Can't see the Berserker, which is a huge problem. We're taking high ground into Berserker clearing. Alright, positioning ourselves solidly into full cover and let's try to focus that Berserker. Wow, so many hit points, so little damage. To Cougar, Overwatch is from here. Continuing to stay in full cover. And Roro, very careful with moving forward. Close call. Alright. Reload. Shoot, hit very well. That's the Berserker get down. Continuing to overwatch here. Do we have lightning reflexes? No. We only had zone control. Fortunately, we can't reach the next uh, mm, cover and flank this guy, which is a shame. Okay, triggering Overwatch. Nope, no, no trigger. Instead, uh, Overwatching ourselves. Nah, too, too little of a chance to hit. I think we're just Overwatching here. Bastard gives himself an aid protocol and then overwatches. Of course, perfect timing for some faceless ones. Let's talk about poor timing, eh? Can't even see him. No, that's not great. Good 
Good, in the meantime, we're using our blinding protocol, which I start to enjoy more and more to remove their overwatch. And getting the faceless one down. Full cover. Not yet flanking, but with overwatch. And we're actually pulling them further in. Unfortunately, they are not susceptible to uh, melee attacks. Can't really hit him here. It's going to trigger the overwatch, but I don't want a stalemate either. I much rather take a couple of really well placed critical shots and teach them a lesson. We we'll kill him, but we would be very open for retaliation. hit point uh, targets need to stay in cover for now but I'm slowly but surely making my way in oh boy our overwatch is crap well thankfully that worked Spreading the damage. Unfortunately for us, we can't really get that much closer. lot of low hit point targets on our end and I don't want to just let them run in he needed to reload okay fantastic well that gives us uh, finally the opportunity to move up that's the crit we were looking for. Going back into further cover. Lord have mercy, this forest is dense. Yeah, finally. Very good. So, this mission already indicates that we are in trouble. We haven't lost anyone, but... This was uh, the polar opposite of a good, clean retaliation mission. We've, we've gotten shot down. We have uh, lost more civilians than uh, was acceptable. And boy, boy, the enemies 
We're just meat sacks. We couldn't go through them. Okay, so this guy needs to die. There's no just running away from him. Hence, we're moving as close as humanly possible. And Zukuger will get the honor of actually killing him. You can't handle me. Speaking about a mission that was not successful. Operation Crystal Shadow was a disaster. One civilian rescued. We have rescued a few more. I think five civilians rescued. But we would have needed to rescue six. Oh boy. That also will push us back on the Geoscape. Damn it. Not what I was hoping for. And we didn't even get a promotion. Nah. Wounded, beaten down, and no promotion. Yeah, we rescued five civilians, but that was not enough. Hello, Commander. And we acquired fear of mutants. Great. Well, too bad we're prior to the supply drop, so that means we need to continue making contact. Aliens are on high alert. Vigilance is a bad permanent uh, dark event. It means that we can't really move in. And Dilly somehow got a wound. I imagine they were trying to steal something. He and Hogbite moved in. And Dilly just squeezed his hand. Alright, so promotions would be helpful. Health definitely is helpful. Mobility is helpful. But we wanted scientist and health, I think. And one way of going about that is health here. Uh, Dilly is currently wounded. Well, that's a problem. So we're taking someone else. And Elarium's uh, crystals are currently not needed, so might as well just use uh, that. Uh, never mind. We want to research them for further... No. Uh, are we going psionics? Nah, I don't think so. So, might as well use them. We will begin the covert action immediately, Commander. Okay, without any upgrades, this is only going to get worse. It started like a normal uh, run, but it gotten so much worse. So, GTS into resistance ring, infirmary. Uh, I think we definitely need to staff someone here in order to get... Uh, the wounded soldier is back in action. Um, second person excavates here. But yeah, proving ground is going to be our bread and butter because we need a couple more toys to play with and proving ground can help us. It's the only way of really substantially upgrading our troops. So we gotta get that. Advanced uh, grenade launcher, good. Plasma grenade, fantastic. And we can't do mech weapons, unfortunately. Plated armor is also a no-no. Which means, what are we going to do? This here would be uh, the Hellweave uh, vest. Purifier is... Not incendiary grenade. Is that hazmat vest? 
Always forgetting about that. Um. Hmm, good question. Berserker is uh, overdrive uh, serum, which we don't need. Might as well in the spirit of uh, this run. Start with the chrysalids. I find the chosen disconcerting. We need to understand our enemy before we can engage. Let's take a look. Wow, that's going to take a while. Four assaults, four medics, we need more marines, we need one more uh, marksman, and we need more tech specialists. And above all, we need a promotion. Supply drop guarantees that it's going to be increased enemies. Force rating has just gone up. Warlock can now summon advent troopers. Miss shots uh, will return fire. That is bad. I don't like a return fire. Instant collection uh, might be worth it just to get more tempo. The soldier bonds at the moment are fine. Plus one resistance contact could be okay. Yeah, we don't we don't need more uh, contacts yet. I'm hoping for um, for a scan. If you're always maxed out with your contacts, chances are that you will be offered a scan. And I'm somewhat trying uh, to motivate the game to give us exactly that. Okay, we do have just so little int left. Um, so it's not even worth to check the black market. Avenger, Which means we're back to Intel farming and then maybe we can get something on the black market. The aliens continue to make the lives of my followers cool! Engineer is exactly what we need. This mission may prove less. And Intel is what we need. So the game gives us exactly what is currently missing. Um... Can we get anything else? Hmm, I wonder, is the grenade launcher okay to be upgraded if we're not upgrading the weapons? I suppose the question, uh, the answer could be yes, because it is just cover removal and so on. And we have also decided that um, plasma grenades are okay. So that's a moderate upgrade. It uh, won't be the main weapons. I think that's still fine. These are all tools and uh, tool upgrades in my book are okay for this campaign. I wish we had a simulator for Bradford to practice on. If he crashes this ship, I might just hand him over to Advent myself. I think we need to speed up proving ground. This is becoming more and more of a problem. And we need more engineers in general, so the next mission is a must win unless we want to fall behind the curve even further. I think scientist wise we're okay with that extra scientist coming in with higher learning, we're even better. So that's so uh, all good. Let's see what else we can get. Facility leads, I will need to do that because I want to have an option to reach all of those facilities. This is great as well, plus one resistance contacts and engineer would be fantastic as well. So there are a couple of really good options, just need to find the right one. Facility lead is a must have because we're running a bit slim on the avatar project. Might not look like it, but uh, we need to reach those facilities and currently we're not just not in, in the position to to actually 
reach one of them. Having a facility lead would help us to do that and we could we could easier reach them. And quite frankly, I would rather do them now than later because, like I said, the enemies are just going to ramp up more and more and more. That's it for now, uh, guys. That is the end of today's episode. If you enjoyed it, uh, then how about you're asking your black market dealer to sponsor you a like and then pass it on to the like button of this channel. And uh, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.